Bridezilla. <laughs> Am I the asshole for refusing to remove a piece of jewelry at the request of my friend on her wedding day? My 31 female friend, 30 female, we'll call Mary, got married last week and I was in her bridal party. For context, we are friends from high school and all of the other bridesmaids were her friends from college who I hadn't met until her bachelorette party several months ago. I also wasn't familiar with anyone at this wedding outside of Mary's immediate family. I was supposed to attend the wedding with my own fiance, but he contracted COVID five days before we were supposed to leave and made the choice to stay home for everyone's safety. I tested negative and we don't live together. Our fifth anniversary of our first date was two months ago and he got me a beautiful opal necklace on a gold chain specifically to wear to the wedding because it's complimented my bridesmaid's dress. I asked Mary in our bridal group chat if she was all right with us wearing our own jewelry to the wedding. She said no problem. Day of the wedding comes, all of us bridesmaids and Mary meet early in the morning for pictures outside the chapel. Mary sees my necklace and loves it and actually asks if she could switch her necklace with mine. Some other bridesmaids chime in and say that it would be her something borrowed. I tried as politely as I could to tell her that my fiance got this for me to wear to the wedding and especially since he can't be here, I'd like to keep it on. Mary and the other bridesmaids were persistent saying it was her wedding and her pictures and I wasn't being accommodating, but I firmly told them no. Mary then said if I could at least take it off since it looked nicer than her own jewelry. Again, I told her I'd rather not. I'd like to share the wedding photos of myself in the necklace with my fiance. She was not happy. Neither of the bridesmaids were either. I received a lot of cold shoulders and dirty looks the rest of the ceremony and reception. I felt awful. After the first dance, Mary's sister came up to me to tell me just how upset Mary was and rude it was that I upset her on her big day. Am I the asshole? It's been more than a week and I'm still thinking about it nonstop. And Mary hasn't answered any of my texts. Oh, man. That one's kind of hard. I mean, first of all, <laughs> if a necklace ruins your fucking wedding, girl, you got bigger problems. Oh, my God. <laughs> a necklace, Mitch? Do you want to see it? Yeah, I want to see it. I want to see it. Oh, it's really pretty. It's cute, but like yeah. nothing to have your day ruined over. No, and it's also minuscule. Like it is so small. She, you probably didn't even see it. She puts it next to her glasses too for like a size comparison. And it's probably like what? The size of a, a dime? Yeah, if that. If that. Like yeah. it's, it's really small. It's super small. So there's even from far away in a picture, you would not be able to fucking see it. No. Also, why would you want to get married in a necklace that another man bought your friend? That's weird. Another, like, your friend's fiance bought her as, like, an important gift to mark their relationship. Yeah. Like, you want to wear that in your wedding photos? What the fuck? That's some bad juju. Yeah, like, in your wedding pictures, like, that you're going to have forever. You're going to frame and have hung in your house. You want. Mm -mm. That's weird. That is weird. And it's also a really weird request. Like, can you switch me necklaces? Because mine's ugly. Well, why'd you pick that one? You're getting fucking married today. You uh, think you would bring it with the jewelry. Don't you think you'd plan ahead? Like, yeah. so you actually like your own? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and like you wouldn't be, and she did the courtesy of asking you too. She was like, can I wear my own jewelry? Yeah. When, uh, because she understands it's her day exactly. and she may want them to look a certain way. Yeah. And she was like, yeah, I don't care. So like, I, that was going to be my question if she didn't mention it was like, if she asked ahead yeah. of time, but to ask to switch that's weird. Fucking weird. It makes me wonder if like she secretly at one point had feelings for her for friend's her fiance. fiance. Mm -hmm. It's always something deeper. It's because if yeah. it's just that you're like you're you're Looney Tunes, bro. Like you're 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 out of your you're off your fucking rocker. If that's true. Also, you're gonna let that necklace ruin your wedding day. Like there are so many other things that terrible that could happen. Oh my god. On your wedding day, like there are so many things that could happen that could ruin your day. Oh my god. It's the. It's the, limitless. Yeah, the the list is endless, which yes. is why people have so much anxiety around getting married, like especially if they're like planning it to be oh the perfect day. Yeah, it terrifies my boyfriend. Also, to have your friends <laughs> try and try and bully her too, like knowing she doesn't know any of them and she doesn't know anyone at the wedding or so anyone at the reception. What an awkward position to be put into. That's like that bride that bride power. That goes too far. You know oh. what I mean? Because they're like, oh, everyone say yes to her because it's her day. It's her day. She's the bride. Let her do what she wants. Which is fine to an extent. Yes. You can't like force your friends to switch intimate 
romantic jewelry with you and then get pissed when no. she doesn't. What a weird... Honestly, good for her for standing up for herself. Amazing. I honestly... I would have cracked <laughs> under the pressure. I really... I would have cracked. I, I would have cried. My makeup would have been ruined. Like, I would have been distraught. <laughs> and I would be in the same place as her. Like, she's still thinking about it a week later. Yeah. Like, I had a call the other day and I, like, said an expression I've never said in my life before. Like, it, it was a professional conversation. I was like... I was like, yeah, I just, like, really want to establish, like, a lawyer just because, you know, I don't want to get reamed up the butt. And after the call, I was like... <laughs> I was like, oh my God, Morgan, I've never used that term. I'm like, that's so like uh, unprofessional. I'm still thinking about it now, like yeah. clearly. And it's like, I would be distraught just like her. But I see on the flip side where some people would argue like, it's not that big of a deal. Just let her wear it. But it's like, no, it's the principle. Yeah. Well, also <sighs> you're really kind of putting her on the spot, aren't you? Because it's right when she's about to take pictures. Yes. And right before the actual ceremony cuz a lot of times they take the pictures before the ceremony. Right before, yeah. So like it's it's like game time. Yes. And so she's like really putting her feet to the fire like, oh "Can I wear it?" And everyone's looking at you she and you're so uncomfortable. Ganged up on. Yeah, so and that's why I said good for you girl for standing up for yourself. But like also she's probably missing her fiance and she's probably like, mm-hmm. "Oh, well I have this and he's going to be so excited to see me in it and and she's being polite. She was like, so well, nice. I'd really rather not because, like, he gave it to me as, like, a love gift. I know. And I kind of want to wear it since he's not here. And then she's like, you're going to ruin my wedding then? <laughs> Entitled, <laughs> unhinged bitch. Literally. This well, girl. I would never ask that. But even no. so, even if I did and she said no, I'd be like, oh. All right. Well, yeah. No love lost. I was already going to wear this necklace. So who the fuck cares? Yeah. And then to say, can you take it off so it doesn't look, it doesn't like outshine me. That's why I said it's literally like this big. It's, it's so, so fucking tiny. small. There's no way it's, that you could see it in the pictures. It's the size of a coffee bean. That's what I'm it's saying. So like, little. you, there's no way you could see that in the pictures no, from it's, far away. It's beautiful, but it it's it holds so much beauty because of the significance that she has with it. Yeah. And I, if you're a control freak and you're like okay with your bridesmaids wearing their own jewelry, like but you're still a control freak, ask to see pictures before. Yeah. And then if you like need to one up it, then you get the then option to do it. Then at least you know. It. Yeah. You know. At least you know ahead of time. Just <laughs> come on people. I know. I mean, I, I think about wedding stuff like that. And I'm like, I don't know if I would care. I don't think I would care as long as it wasn't distracting to look at. Yeah. No. As long, as long as it wasn't like, like a feather hat, like I'm sure yeah, it'd be I'll fine. Be- I'm sure it'd be fine. Fucking like, big bird up there. Yeah, on your literally, day. like standing next to me. That's why I'm saying, like, <laughs> at, I think at that point, it'll be fine. I know. Honestly, I'm not. I know what I want as far as like a ceremony and a ring and whatever, but like, me too. I think me and my boyfriend's our biggest concern is, is like, uh, just making sure our families get along. Like, <laughs> his family, like, his parents are divorced and just like yeah. trying to ensure that everyone that's there to support us is has, having a good time. Has a good time. Uh, like, cause yes, your wedding is about you, but like, it's also like, for the people that come to yeah like it's like also like you. a big party for everyone yeah so like i think and also if they have drama then it ruins your day yeah it's yeah. <laughs> it's tough it's really tough yeah my my boyfriend's family's really small and my boy my family's fucking huge so we're like kind of good there but like <laughs> it's like my family's gonna make up the majority of the attendance probably i know to our I've, wedding but mine's it's just uh, so disheveled <laughs> To say the least. It's a, it's yeah. big. It's disheveled. I got yeah. a lot out there. So I, I feel that. I like the signs that are like, pick a seat, not a side. I'm like, that's just sit wherever the fuck you want. Yeah, that's kind of my thing too. I'm like, when we get married, I'm going to have to be real particular about that seating chart and make sure nobody's next to each other that doesn't like each Opposite other. Opposite ends. Yeah. Different that's tables. Because I'm like one of those people that even if I want to Big wedding, but not a huge wedding. Mm-hmm. Like my sister wants a really small, intimate wedding, and I want like a big wedding. Is she she's getting married soon, right? Yeah, she's engaged. So yeah. I think next year is when they're getting married. So, so exciting! I know. Maid of honor, I take it. Yeah, pretty much. Don't upstage her with a necklace. <laughs> I know. Oh. I'm gonna wear the biggest, gaudiest necklace ever to distract <laughs> from her day because I'm gonna make sure I'm the main character on her day. Your sister seems so nice that I don't even think she would say anything. <laughs> Yeah, my sister is is the opposite of me in the sense that I'm extremely extroverted and she's extremely introvert introverted. So that's why I'm like, yeah, if I did that, she wouldn't say anything to me. That'd be so mean of me to do. <laughs> no, She'd be you're, like, you're well. too nice. Yeah, she would that. tell me like six months later how much she was upset with me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my god. God. That's why I was like, how can I make this day about me? 
gotta you gotta spice it up a little bit. You know, it can't be it can't go off that easy. Right. You gotta have a little unhinged. Just in your, kidding. In your life. I would never do that. Yeah. No. Not date. to your wedding. I'll do it to somebody else's. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck their shit up. <laughs>